We are joined by 15-year NHL vet Mike Camilleri. And during your tenure, you played for five different franchises, five unique cities. So I thought you could get your tour guide on and tell us what are the must-do or must-see or must-visit thing in each city. Okay. All right, I'll try my try best. Try your best. I'm, I have a terrible memory, but... It's okay, we'll see what you can All do. All right, let's try. We're going to start in L.A., obviously drafted. I told you I had a bad memory, and you went <laughs> as far back as you could go... Correct. ...to start. But there's got to be tons of options in L.A. I actually ended up back there at the end, so... This is true. Um, what's your status? I am married. All right, do you have children? No. You need a lot more than one night. <laughs> there's too many options. Yeah, you need a lot more than one night. Is there I, one standout? I would, I would say... Um, I mean, if you're going to do the tourist thing, you got to go to Beverly Hills and walk Rodeo Drive and have a nice dinner and kind of feel that because it's L.A. Uh, but the guy, when, when you live there and play there, everyone generally lives in the South Bay, which is like Manhattan Beach and Hermosa Beach, which is a much more like chill, cool beach area. So it's laid back. Yeah, maybe just throw on some board shorts and some sandals and go hit up a, a sports bar. That sounds perfect. That's yeah. more up my alley. Yeah. Uh, the second stop is very much up my alley because I am from Cowtown. So what would you do in Calgary? I would go to a Flames game and then go to Cowboys. Gotta go to Cowboys. Let's go to Cowboys. Cowboys over Ranchmans? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was. I like Ranchmans. Yeah. But. My first apartment in L in Calgary looked down at the old Cowboys, and so after games, if I was up late, I'd, I'd be in there and I could see all the fights outside. <laughs> yeah. Um, right out of my right out of my window. So some good some free entertainment. Some free entertainment. Nice. I got to see UFC every night. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so you go from Cowtown to the Belle Provence. Yeah. Play for Montreal. Montreal, there's a whole heap of things to do. In, in Montreal, it depends when you're going because it's the city of festivals. I don't know if you know this about Montreal, but it's like it's jazz fest, it's comedy fest, it's Grand Prix. It's like so just just go there, say to whoever is working at your hotel concierge, what festival is going on right now, and then just go to the festival. They're worth going to. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Fantastic. All right. Uh, picked up by New Jersey. We're playing for the Devils. I've never been to New Jersey, I have to say. Yeah, so. so New Jersey, like, people think of it as the swamp. It's like the most beautiful place. It's just gorgeous. If you go in, in the suburbs of New Jersey, it's spectacular. So go there, go enjoy the green, beautiful green <laughs> garden state, and go to a library and read some books. Perfect. Nice. A little more low key, but nice. Yeah, but you, you can jump on a train and be in Manhattan 30 minutes. Exactly. And, and then you're not going to sleep for two days. So, you know, <laughs> you're I laughing. Mean, you got the best of both worlds. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Yeah. We're going back to Alberta, except with the rivals this time Edmonton. Edmonton. Uh, you're going to buy a jacket and a hat. <laughs> That's the first things you're going to do. Correct. Uh, and you're going to go watch Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl play hockey because these guys are generational talent. Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl are the dynamic duo. All right, so Mike, you've been up to all sorts of projects outside of your hockey career. Uh, acting chops on Mr. D, Ooh. right? What year was that? Yes, yeah, so not as many kids Probably. as you thought, eh? Uh, no, we've had a good, good, good turnout. Yeah, it's good. Oh, it's great. Uh, you've honed your broadcast skills on Hockey Night in Canada. And finally, you obviously co-founder of BioSteel, which was just bought by Canopy Growth, a cannabis company. So what's the latest on that move? It's making big waves in the business world for sure. Yeah, so for us, uh, it was a natural fit. We, we've always tried to have a healthier option for the best athletes in the world and general population as far as hydration, sports drinks, proteins, things like that. We were we are getting into CBD and are doing CBD as, as, as all, uh, many of the pro athletes are. So uh, the partnership with Canopy just made a lot of sense. They're a company with vast resources and, and uh, we're really excited about our future with them. Thanks a lot, Mike. Cheers, thanks for having me.